Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single time. Again, it does not matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. So we were talking about the NFL. Before we do, I want to remind you to join the Z Code VIP Club section here and you'll have access to all these excellent tools to help you make your picks, to help you more successful in your betting. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the NFL. For this week as we are halfway through the season and there are several interesting matchups in store so we're going to take a look at some of these you scroll down through here houston and cleveland i'm not going to look at that one jacksonville green bay good off new york giants tampa bay and carolina okay this is the first game we're going to take a look at the buccaneers are coming off their loss and are six and three on the season Carolina has lost their last four and are three and six and are last in the NFC South. You see Tampa Bay is a 1.41 to 2.975 favorite. The point spread is minus 6.5 for Tampa Bay with an over under of 50.5. You take a look here at the status here, the Tampa Bay's average status and Carolina is ice cold down. We take a look at the power ranking indicator, which we always like to do. You will notice here the upward trend for Tampa Bay. They are plus 27, and Carolina is on a consistent downward trend. They are at plus 9. Take a look at the head-to-head -head matchup. You see earlier in the season, Tampa Bay won very easily. They were a home favorite, but they also won very easily by a 14-point margin, 31-17. to 17. If you're considering the over and under in this one, notice that Tampa Bay is playing a game trending a little bit over the line. Carolina is playing in games trending considerably under the line. I would say avoid the over-under on this one since they are trending on opposite sides of the line. If you're looking at the stability of the two teams, how well are they performing according to their favorite underdog status, you will see that Carolina is at zero here, which is a you know, right borderline, baseline, moderately stable. You can see that Tampa Bay is considerably more stable. They are at plus four. See if there has been any movement in the lines. Let's take a look at the money line here. Has there been any movement? Well, you can see, yeah, well, they start here. Let's see, this was at 1.41. You can see there was some movement down, up, down, up. But look what's happening now. It's right back to pretty much where it started from at 1.41. So what am I thinking on this one? I am thinking that much of the same will probably happen this time as the last time. Tampa Bay will win on the road and they will cover the spread. The second one here, we have Buffalo and the Arizona Cardinals. You see Buffalo is burning hot at the moment. Arizona is averaged down. Arizona though is a slight favorite at 1.75 to 2.1, which translates to a line of 1.5 points with an over under of 56.5. The Bills are so far 72 on the season and the Cardinals are at 5-3. and three. Look at the power ranking indicator. You will notice here that the Bills are plus 28. Cardinals are plus 25. So you can see both are strong teams and they're relatively evenly matched, which is indicated also by the line in this game. If you're considering the over and under, you see that Buffalo is playing in games, trending considerably over the line. Arizona playing in the games actually even further under the line than Buffalo is over. Again, this, that's kind of a wash. I would suggest not betting the over-under on this game. Let's we'll see how stable the two teams have been. Again, we can look at this uh, volatility oscillator. You can see here that Buffalo is at plus three. Very stable. And you see Arizona is at minus three. They are very inconsistent according to their favorite underdog status. So just because they're a favorite, that does not mean a whole lot. And in fact, I don't think it's going to mean anything. I think Buffalo is the better team. I think they'll take this one on the road. And obviously, um, if they win, they're going to cover the spread. And ran the Raiders. Chargers and the Dolphins. This is the next one I want to take a look at. Miami is on a four-game winning streak and are five and three on the season. On the other side... The Chargers have lost their last two and are last in the AFC West at 2-6. and six. You can see by the status here, the teams are in, in opposite directions. The Chargers dead status, Miami burning hot, and Miami is a 1.72 to 2.13 favorite, which translates to a 
point spread line of about two and a half for Miami with an over under of 48.5. I'm going to take a look at the power ranking indicator. You can see that Miami is on the upward trend. They're at plus 18. And you can see the Chargers slumping downward. They're down to plus five. Clearly, teams moving in opposite directions. If you're considering the over and under, the Chargers have been consistently over the line. The Dolphins, uh, under the line at the moment. Again, this is probably an indication that's probably best to avoid betting the over under on this one. If you want to take a look at the stability, how stable are the two teams? Let's take a look at the volatility oscillator. You can see that, uh, well, Chargers at plus three. The Dolphins were at plus three, but they have slumped down to plus one over the last two weeks, so they have not been as consistent as of late. Let's take a look at the line, see if there's been any movement in the line. Take a look at the money line right here. You can see the line start at 1.752. You can see the movement all as far up as 1.69. And now it's back down to 1.719, but still is more in favorite or let's go over here. There we go. When it shows you, it says more in favor of Miami than it was to open. And that's the way I'm looking at this game as well. I don't think that the Chargers have much of a chance. And this looks like a nearly sure bet on the Dolphins. They will win and cover the spread. Cincinnati, Pittsburgh, San Francisco, New Orleans. That should be a good matchup as well. But I want to take a look at this one. This will be the matchup of the day, I believe. The Seattle Seahawks and the Los Angeles Rams. Seattle is average at the moment. The Rams are average down. Seattle comes into play at 6-2, and two, and the Rams are at 5-3 and three in the NFC West matchup. So they're both battling for, you know, near the top spot in the division. It's going to be a very good game. You can see that the Rams have a 1.75 to 2.10 favorite odds, which translates into a 2.5 point spread with an over-under of 55.5. Take a look at the power ranking indicator. You can see here that Seattle has a plus 29 to plus 21 in average advantage in that category and in head-to-head -head matchup last season you see the two teams split both winning at home take a look at the totals predictor to see about the over and under here we go look at this seattle is playing in games trending well over the line and the rams playing in games trending over the line so this is one matchup that i would bet the over with pretty much confidence so i think that's definitely what you should do Let's see how stable the two teams have been. Again, look at the volatility oscillator. And the two teams are evenly stable at plus two. Both moderately stable, I would say, with zero as being the baseline. So they're pretty much performing according to the favorite underdog status. I'm looking at this, though, to be a little bit of an upset. Not much, because the Rams are only a slight favorite. But I actually think Seattle is going to find a way to win on the road and probably with a late field goal. And the last game we want to look at for this week is the Baltimore Ravens and the New England Patriots. The Ravens come into play at 6-2 and two, and two games behind the Steelers in the AFC North. The Patriots are at 3-5 and five, and third in the AFC East. You can see the disparity between the two teams as the Ravens are average up. New England is dead up. New, uh, the Ravens are a huge favorite in this one if you look at this at 1.3. Odds to two, uh, to, excuse me, 1.3 to 3.66, which translates to a point spread of seven and a half point favorite for the Ravens with an over under of 43.5. Let's take a look at the power ranking indicator. It shouldn't be much of a surprise here. A little bit of a surprise that the Ravens are, are sliding down a little bit, but again, they have lost a couple. Uh, but they're still at plus 19. New England at a, at a fast downward trend here at plus five. Of course, this does not um, take into account their win last night against the Jets. But again, it was against the Jets, and it just barely won. So that's not going to increase their power ranking indicator very high. They're still going to be below what the Ravens are. Look at the head-to-head -head matchup. The two teams played last year. Ravens winning by 17 points. And considering the over and under, Ravens playing in games trending well under the line. New England playing in games trending under the line. 
And much like I expect, I figured this one would be a low-scoring game. I don't expect the, the Patriots to have a whole lot of success moving the ball and scoring a lot against this Ravens defense. But let's take a look at the uh, money line to see if there's been any movement in the line. Look at this. It starts at 1.3, and look at that. It moved up and down and up and down somewhat, and now it's back up here to 1.3 which means that the Ravens are even a little bit more of a favorite than they were before. I don't see this being much of a contest. I think the Ravens are just too strong overall, and they will win and cover the spread. So there you have it. So those are the picks for the week. Enjoy the weekend. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.